High-resolution capacitive sensors enable very precise thickness measurements of conductive targets. There are two methods of measuring thickness with capacitive sensors. The first uses a simple single-channel measurement. The second uses two channels, which eliminates some potential error sources. First, we will look at the basic single-channel thickness measurement. Single-channel thickness measurements measure the location of the top surface of the part under test while the part rests on a reference surface. As with many non-contact sensor applications, in-process measurements are relative to a reference measurement. A known thickness is established as a reference point and all subsequent measurements indicate the amount of deviation from that reference. To perform a single channel thickness measurement, first place a conductive part of known thickness on the reference surface. Then, adjust the sensor to measure the top surface of the part. The sensor should be positioned near the center of its measurement range to allow for positive and negative deviations from the reference measurement. Adjust the sensor output for zero volts or a displayed reading of zero if a measurement display is being used. Then, replace the reference part with a part to be measured and read the deviation and thickness from the display or calculate the deviation from the output voltage. The single channel method assumes the part is perfectly flat against the reference surface. Any deformity of the part or the reference surface will cause portions of the top surface of the part to be higher, which will be incorrectly interpreted as greater thickness. Any foreign matter, including air, between the part and the reference surface will also create an error. This error can be avoided by using a two-channel method. Two-channel thickness measurements place the part to be measured between two sensors. The sum of the measurements from the two sensors provides the final measurement of thickness. If the part moves one millimeter toward the top sensor, its output will change by plus one, but it also moves one millimeter away from the bottom sensor, causing a change of minus one. The sum of the two sensors remains unchanged. This eliminates the errors from single channel problems with deformity and or contact with the reference surface. The part can be measured with the part suspended between the two sensors or one sensor mounted in the resting surface. Again, a known thickness is established as a reference point and all subsequent measurements indicate the amount of deviation from that reference. To perform a two channel thickness measurement, first, place a conductive part of known thickness between the two sensors. Then adjust sensor positions to measure the top and bottom surfaces of the part. The sensors should be positioned near the center of the measurement range to allow for positive and negative deviation from the reference measurement. Adjust the individual sensor outputs for zero volts and or a displayed reading of zero. Then replace the reference part with a part to be measured. Read the thickness deviation from a display with summing capabilities or calculate the deviation by adding the two output voltages and converting to dimensional units. Note that the individual sensors change in response to the deformity of the target, but the final thickness measurement is unaffected by the distortion. When it is necessary to measure the thickness of a conductive target, Capacitive sensors can provide very accurate results at a high resolution. Lion Precision's Elite Series capacitive sensor systems can provide precise sensing capabilities with CPL190 drivers and an MM190 display module that sums and displays the measurement in actual dimensional units. For more detailed information on this application, please see the accompanying webpage or PDF version of this application note or contact us directly.